What's up everyone? So today we're going to work on the Jeep again. Uh, after having it out yesterday, I noticed that uh, there's a squeal coming from under the hood. Now I think it's the AC compressor that's squealing. Um, I think it's the bearing in there when the uh, clutch is uh, disengaged. Uh, but we're going to figure that out right now. So we're going to run it and then we're going to spray some like W40 or something on the uh, on the pulley and see if we can hit the bearing and see if we can get the squealing to go away. So uh, let's start the Jeep up. Okay, now that the Jeep's nice and warm, let's see if we can recreate the noise. Okay, hopefully you can hear that squealing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bottle of WD-40 and I'm going to start uh, gently spraying bearings. We're going to start with the AC compressor. I'm pretty sure that's where it's coming from, but uh, let's see what happens when we do it. Okay, so you guys heard the noise, we were able to recreate it. I think I figured out what's going on. Let me show you. So as I was uh, diagnosing uh, and spraying the bearings, I didn't hear the noise change, but I did do one thing on accident. I took a can of blade, brake clean, and I thought I saw a bearing that was uh, dirty or a pulley that was dirty. And so as I sprayed, I accidentally hit the belt. When I hit the belt, the noise went away. Uh, so I turned off and took a look. And here's what we found. This belt is completely smooth here. And you can see how it's kind of got this gray spot in it. On contrast, here's a new belt. This belt has got some grip to it. The other thing that I noticed is um, where the belt goes around the uh, water pump, the water pump pulley, uh, it looked like it was glazed. So the belt and the water pump pulley looked like they were glazed. Now, the thing about that is I do have a, a heavy, uh, heavy duty clutch uh, on the Jeep. So what I'm thinking is that that clutch at a higher RPM is holding stronger which is putting more strain on the belt. The pulley is glazed, and it'll create an issue. They won't get uh, enough grip. Um, and I noticed this, but noise has been getting increasingly worse. Uh, you know, it used to happen at just like 3,000 RPM. Now it's down to 2,200 RPM. So it's getting worse. Um, so this belt, uh, one, was really dirty. Two, it's not very grippy. It's super shiny. Uh, this one, you can see it's not as shiny. It's very black. I mean, it's new, but it's got a lot of grip to it. <coughs> The other thing I did is I took a piece of, um, I'll just show you. I took a piece of this green scrub pad and I scrubbed the pulley uh, and shined it up quite a bit. I'll show you. So there's the pulley. You can see how nice and shiny it was. It is now. Uh, before, uh, it was really black and uh, you couldn't, you could barely see the metal. Uh, and it looked like it was glazed over. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this a step further. We're just not going to shine it with that. We're going to make sure this is done right. So also what I have is I've got a uh, a brass uh, wire brush that we're going to use. And then we got some 400 grit wet dry sandpaper. Um, we're going to scrub with this a little bit more and get everything off there. And then we're going to take some of the wet dry paper and we're going to uh, scrub down. Now this is 400 grit so it's pretty light so it shouldn't really uh, it won't scratch or anything. If it did a little bit that'd be okay. Just give it a little more grip but we're just trying to we're trying to make sure that if there is any um, glazing on the pulley that we remove it. So uh, let's scrub it with this and then we'll go hit it with the sandpaper. Can you see the difference? There we go, that's what we got off that pulley from sanding it. Let's see. It's looking pretty good now. So uh, 
Now that we got that cleaned, and like I said, I, I ran a cloth around it before uh, I put the camera on it, so you guys saw it much cleaner than it was. Uh, there was a lot of stuff embedded in that pulley. So uh, now that we've got it cleaned and shined up, uh, what we're gonna do, let's put the belt back on, and then we'll fire it up and see if we can get that noise to come back. All right, let's uh, fire it up and see if we hear the noise. So first we'll let it warm up for a few minutes and then uh, we'll see if we hear the noise again. Okay, seems like the squeal's gone, I didn't hear anything. Uh, let's go for a drive though as one last test and see if we get an RPM with some load on it to see if uh, the squeal comes. So uh, let's go for a drive. So anyway guys, there you have it. Uh, it's all fixed. There's no more issue. I don't hear a squeal or anything like that. It uh, runs better than it did before, as in uh, I don't hear a squeal when I get to a higher RPM. Uh, for me with a manual, it's kind of a big issue because I have to shift a little bit higher RPM, especially when off-roading. But uh, yeah, so there you go. That's how I fixed it. At first I thought it was a bearing in a pulley, but it definitely wasn't. Just the uh, belt needed to be changed and the, uh, the pulley for the water pump needed to be cleaned. Uh, that's really what it was, a, a really good cleaning. So uh, there you have it. If your Jeep has a squeal before you're replacing parts, take your, uh, take your belt off and take a look at that water pump pulley and see if the water pump pulley uh, is glazed over. It's not nice and shiny and looks like there's metal there. Then you uh, need to take it down to, to bare metal, basically. But uh, anyway, guys, if you like what's going on, uh, you know, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, like the channel, uh, subscribe to the channel and share the video if it was helpful. I'd really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, hit the comments below. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.